Manchester United manager Ten Hag chastises the whole team, no days off this week. Manchester United unfortunately continues to perform poorly in the Premier League. Manchester United, who performed poorly against Brighton at Old Trafford, could not reflect the game they wanted. We are not performing as well in training as we do in league matches, and I will start trying different things to solve this problem, said coach Ten Hag after the match. According to the Sun newspaper, Ten Hag has asked the whole team to train again today. Ten Hag, who did not give permission to anyone, wants the work to continue both on the training ground and in the fitness center. So what is your opinion on this issue? What do you think is the problem in the team? Ten Hag issues rallying cry to channel Manchester United fighting spirit after Brighton humbling. In his post-match press conference, Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag emphasized the need for defensive improvement. He stressed the importance of finding the same determination and resilience as last year to prevent conceding goals. United has conceded a total of 10 goals in only five Premier League games. The Red Devils' new goalkeeper, Andre Onana, has made 20 saves this season but has managed to secure only one clean sheet. Last season, the Red Devils ranked fourth among Premier League clubs in terms of the fewest goals conceded, allowing only 43 goals in total. For the current Premier League season, they are ranked 18th, with only Burnley and Wolverhampton Wanderers conceding more goals than United. Ten Hag needs to bolster his defense once again to salvage the current campaign. This is especially crucial as they prepare to travel to Munich for their opening Champions League game against Bayern Munich. Manchester United sends scouts to watch Red Bull Salzburg attacking midfielder Oscar Gluck. Scouts from Arsenal and Manchester United were impressed after watching Red Bull Salzburg attacking midfielder Oscar Gluck during the international break, according to The Sun. The 19-year-old was in action for Israel against Romania, and he bagged the equaliser to boost his country's chances of qualifying for next summer's European Championship. Liverpool also had representatives watching Gluck, and both Man United and the Gunners could be facing stiff competition for his services in January or next summer. The Salzburg forward turned down a move to join Barcelona in January, agreeing to leave Maccabi Tel Aviv for his current club in a £6 million deal. Gluck believes he made the right choice for the sake of his development and he could soon be playing in the Premier League. Both Arsenal and Man United started keeping tabs on the teenage sensation in January, and more clubs are expected to join them. His finessed effort for Israel against England in the final was named under 19 Euro goal of the tournament last year and he helped his country secure a spot at the 2024 Olympics in Paris for just the third time in their history after they beat England at this summer's under-21 European Championships. Gluck has played eight games for the Austrian club this season, scoring once and registering a further three assists, and Man United could do with such a winger given their current struggles in the Premier League. The Red Devils will keep watching the Israeli going forward, but pipping the Gunners, Liverpool and Co. to his services will not come easy. Gluck can play as an attacking midfielder behind the striker, a right winger and a second striker, and he ended his last season with Maccabi with six goals and eight assists in 25 games. Eric Ten Hag on crowd reaction after Rasmus Hodgland's substitution versus Brighton. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has said that he was pleased with the crowd reaction after Rasmus Hodgland was substituted against Brighton and Hove Albion. The Denmark international made his full debut at Old Trafford earlier today and he almost scored the equaliser for United. The goal was denied by VAR after Marcus Rashford had taken the ball over the byline in the lead-up. Hodgland did not get another opportunity to find the back of the net, but he mesmerised the club's faithful with an impressive home debut. The 20-year-old striker was good with his hold-up and link-up play in the final third of the pitch. 
Hodgland's eventual substitution in the 64th minute was met with a chorus of boos from Old Trafford. Speaking after the game, Ten Hag took the reaction in a positive sense and said that it was very good that the crown embraced Hodgland's showing. The Dutchman added that he performed very well, but had to be brought off due to the lack of match fitness, having recently recovered from a back problem. Hodgland joined United from Atlanta at the beginning of August, but had to wait until early September to make his debut after picking up a back injury in preseason. He only made a cameo appearance against Arsenal before the international break. For Denmark, he played less than 90 minutes of normal time across two matches. Both United and Denmark were cautious over playing him for long. In our opinion, the manager did the right thing to substitute him shortly after the hour mark today. Keeping Hodgland on the pitch was essential at the time, but United also need to look into the long term, they cannot risk the striker sustaining another potential setback. Hannibal Medjbri shows character with terrific cameo in Brighton defeat. The Tunisian played in a couple of friendlies for United in pre-season, but he did not make a single appearance for the club before the September international break. There were claims that Besiktas could sign him on loan, but a deal did not materialize. Medjbri finally got his chance to impress manager Eric Ten Hag today. He came off shortly after the hour mark and scored a consolation goal with a sublime long-range strike. Aside from his goal, the 20-year-old completed 100% of his passes and dribbles, winning foul duels. He won two fouls and made one tackle while losing possession only once. The youngster is highly rated by the club's faithful and he showed plenty of character with his terrific cameo, Medjbri was fired up for the challenge against the Seagulls. In our opinion, he should have started the game ahead of Scott McTominay, who was poor in midfield. The Scott completed only 15 passes until he was substituted during the closing minutes. He won only two ground duels and was hardly in the game for the Red Devils. David Beckham gives his support to Manchester United centre-back Harry Maguire. Manchester United legend David Beckham has given his support to England international centre-back Harry Maguire, According to The Sun Maguire has been on the receiving end of jeers by fans having fallen out of favour under manager Eric Ten Hag, which prompted Beckham to message him to show his support.